Hi everyone, this is Jeanette Walsh. Today I'm going to show you how to create a banner image or really size the image so it properly fits a website. For the banner image in the carousel or maybe or slideshow or just a banner image that you might have on your website. This was created in Dreamweaver using Bootstrap. Let's get to how to create this banner image and size it and then prepare it for the web. Well, the very first thing we'll need to do is actually go to Photoshop. So on your computer, go to your dock and click on Photoshop and launch it. I'll be using Adobe Photoshop CC. I have the latest version that's available today. The first thing you'll see is this welcome window and I'm just going to click out of it. Click on the little red button. Okay. On the top, go to File and then New. Uh, first thing you want to do is name it something that you'll know what it is later on. I'm going to call it Banner. And then because this is a civil rights project, civil, civil rights. And then I'm going to actually name it the size that the banner is. 1600 pixels by 700 pixels. But I'm just going to write 1600 by 700. So I know exactly what it is. Now I've created another image similar to this recently. So it's coming up. So we have the width as 1600 pixels and then height 700 pixels. Resolution is 72 and then RGB color is uh, set at 8 bits. And I'm just going to leave these other settings, so the background contents other, you can change this if you want it transparency or put a, a color in the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. The next thing we need to do is bring in the image that we want for the banner. We want to place and embed it. So go to File, go to Place, Embed. And then I have my photos saved in a folder. I have them on my desktop and I have one ready. I want to use, let's see, I have a couple. These were actually from actual photographs I took for a thesis project when I was a student at Ohio University. I'm going to go with this photo. And I just click place. Okay, well, you can see it doesn't look right. It's too small. It's just not going to work, right? Well, no. The very first thing you do, and this is extremely important, so please listen. On your keyboard, you need to hold down on the shift key and don't let go while you're during this process. And we're going to, okay, that didn't work. Oops. Let's undo that. You see what happened? I grabbed the side. It's distorted. Well, that won't work. I'm just going to discard this. Don't place. I'm going to start over. Go back to file. Place in bed. I'm going to click on the same photo again. And place. Okay, again, hold down on the shift key. I'm going to move it over to the side. And you're going to grab a corner, not a side, because we just saw what happens when you when you grab the side. Grab a corner, and you're going to keep on dragging, dragging, dragging until the width is filled. Let's see. Move it over just a little bit. Okay, I'm just I need it a little bit larger. Uh, grab a corner still, and the shift you should still have the shift key down. 
it fills the image or the canvas. Hold on on the shift key. Let's see, position it. What? Okay, that doesn't look how I want it. I want to show the family here. It was, this was uh, at a powwow in Nebraska. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and just click on the move tool and the, this is what happens. It says, do you want to place the file? We're going to say place. Now we're, what we're going to do is two parts. Go to save. Save as. Okay, we're going to call it powwow banner Omaha and then I'm actually going to uh, put the size so I know later 1600 by 700 and see it says dot psd it means it's a photoshop file we want to just leave it like that and then look at where you're saving it and then go ahead and save and then yes okay let's go and look at the file and see if it's there yep and there it is it's a psd file the file is really big it can't be it's just too big for a website so we need to make it web ready so we're going to save it for the web this is part two and this is vital file Go export, save for web. Okay, there's a couple different options. We're gonna go with JPEG high, then JPEG, and then this selection also, select high, and then save. It's the same name, but it's now a .jpg, JPEG. And make sure you look where you're saving it. This is vital. I want to save it to the same file so I know where it's going. And then save. So now if I look in this folder, I have one that's called Powwow Banner Omaha 1600 by 700 and it's a JPEG. And then you have the original. There you go. Now, what if you wanted to add text? Well, you have your PSD file still open. You can go to your text tool and then just start typing. I'm just going to go ahead and put a simple uh, line of text here. Native American civil rights and I'm just going to put it right there okay and I'm going to add another small line and then I'll write by Jeanette Walsh Okay, and I want to make that smaller. So I go up here to the size, then OK. Of course, you could add your website. We'll do comma. I'll go ahead and put my website name on it. Multimedia toolkit dot me. Okay, um, if you want it to change the color, highlight it, go to your tools. Let's say we want it more of a green, so just click on that. Let's see how that, oh, I guess I didn't do that. Okay, we have the general idea. You can change the color and everything if you want it to. We're, I'm just going to leave it like that just to have it as an example. Now you've already saved one version of this. We'll go ahead and save go ahead and save as. We're going to give it a different name. So we'll call it 
V2, version 2. So you'll have more than one PSD, and this one will have the text in it. Then OK. Click OK. Look in your file. And there's the other one. And it has the text on it. We'll need to also save this for the web. So go to File, Export, Save for Web. JPEG High, and then JPEG High. There you go. And then Save. Make sure you look where you're saving it. That looks right. And then save. Go to your folder and make sure it's there. We now have a couple versions of that photo for the banner. Okay, next step is to place it on your website. So let's go ahead and do that.